a battle going on in Congress concerning your paycheck, a push to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And that's a big jump from the current $7.25 an hour. But how far can you really get on $15 an hour? ABC4's Nicole Lu Newman looks into that. With the House's recent approval of the Raise the Wage Act, it would bring the minimum wage up from $7.25 to $15 an hour. That's roughly $31,000 a year, around $2,500 per month before taxes. So let's say about $1,800 take home pay. So, what can a paycheck this size pay for here in Salt Lake City? Let's take a look. Most apartments rent for more than $1,000 per month. That's just for a studio or a one-bedroom apartment. We did find apartments just off of North Redwood Road for just over $800. Now, what about your operating household expenses? There's gas, utilities, and water. That could run a couple of hundred dollars. Then there's the cost of food. That could easily run the upwards of at least 300 bucks if you're getting three meals a day for $3 a piece. Now, what about transportation and gas? Depending on if you have a car payment or you take public transportation, that could take a larger chunk out of your paycheck. When it comes to how Utah's delegation feels about raising the minimum wage, all four representatives voted against it. With Congressman Ben McAdams releasing a statement that says in part, we do need the guardrail of a higher minimum wage that helps Utah employees and protects jobs. However, this legislation doesn't strike the right balance for Utah. McAdams suggests increases should be based on regions. The Raise the Wage Act is now off to the Senate where it's expected to fail. In Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. The Raise the Wage Act has been in the works, by the way, for nearly seven years. The goal is to gradually raise the minimum wage to $15 by 2025.